Hi, and welcome back to Tapping for Betrayal. So, so often in our relationships, we have a perceived betrayal or maybe a real betrayal. Maybe we're making up stories in our head, or maybe we actually witness something happening. So after the show reel, we're going to do some tapping around how to get rid of the energies when you feel betrayed in a relationship, whether you're still in it or whether you've already left. Here's the show reel. All right. So first I'm going to have you write down the specific situation in which you felt betrayed. So not all the times, but like pick one particular time. So maybe it was a time where your significant other was flirting with somebody else in front of you. Maybe you saw a text message come through. Maybe you found an email. Maybe you just overheard something that's making you a little suspicious and you feel betrayed. So tune into that situation, write down what's your emotion that you're feeling about it. How strong is that emotion from zero to 10? And where do you feel it in your body? You can pause the tape till you've done this. And then we're going to get to tapping. So you can either repeat after me because you've already written down, you've already identified your subject. And you can use my subject as an example. And you'll notice that your subject will change as well because they're along the same lines. Or if you want, you can repeat after me using your own situation. So I'm going to say the words, the situation, the emotion the body part. Okay. So here we go. Even though I feel betrayed in my stomach, thinking about him flirting with the waitress Friday night, I accept I feel this way. Even though I feel betrayed in my stomach, thinking about him flirting with the waitress on Friday night, I deeply and completely accept myself. And even though I feel betrayed in my stomach, Thinking about him flirting with the waitress Friday night. I accept I feel this way. Great. Top of the head. Feeling betrayed in my stomach. 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 So take a little bit of water if you have any. And now tune back into your situation. How are you feeling about it? How strong is it? Like, what's the emotion? How strong do you feel about it? Zero to 10. Like, how strong is that? So if I'm working with betrayal, before it was a seven, maybe now it's a four. <clears throat> and then where is it in my body? Has it changed? Now, if nothing's changed for you, make your situation more specific. Maybe it wasn't about the whole time he was flirting with the waitress, to use my example. Maybe it was about a look he gave her or something he said or the way he lied to me. Maybe it's something different, right? So notice, is it that specific situation or is it something else that's related to it? Does that make sense? Okay. Then we're going to do it again. Ready? Even though I feel betrayed in my stomach. And remember, use your own words if you want to. Thinking about the way he looked at the waitress the other night. I'm open to letting this go. And even though I feel betrayed in my stomach. Thinking about how he looked at the waitress the other night. I'm open to letting this go. And even though I feel betrayed in my stomach. Thinking about how he looked at the waitress the other night. I accept I feel this way. Great. Top of the head, betrayed in my stomach. 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 You traded my stomach. Great. So once again, look at your situation. 
How does it impact you now? What's the emotion? Because we want something to be changing, whether the emotion changes, whether the intensity changes, whether the situation changes slightly, some nuance about it, whether it's in a different body part. We're trying to get our emotion all the way down to zero. That's our end goal. At least under a three. Maybe we won't be able to clear it all right away. You can, you know, you can get rid of all of the emotion because you have before and you can find peace and calm. So let's do it one more time. Ready? So even though I'm feeling disrespected in my stomach, thinking about the way he flirted with the waitress the other night, I'm open to letting this go. Even though I'm feeling disrespected in my stomach, thinking about how he flirted with the waitress the other night, I accept I feel this way. And even though I feel disrespected in my stomach, thinking about how he flirted with the waitress on Friday night, I deeply and completely accept myself. Great. Feeling disrespected in my stomach. 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 Great. Good job. So remember, you can keep doing this. You can rewind the tape, keep going through it. And remember, you want to work through all aspects of the betrayal as best as you can. And remember, just because you're working through it to neutralize your own emotions doesn't mean that what the other person did was right. It doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to go running back to them and lose all of your power. What it does mean, though, is that you can look at the situation with clarity, calm, and confidence. So you get your power back because you're not being wrapped up in your emotions. Because remember, your emotional brain and your logical brain don't work together at the same time. So when you let go of the emotions, you can use more logic and clarity and choice and stand in your power. So best of luck. Remember that you are loved, you are loving, and you are lovable. Bye-bye.